Hi there, there's a new version of the speed quizzing app been released, version 5.6 to replace version 5.57 and I'm going to first show you uh, how you can use both apps with version 5 at the same time but then I'm going to also show you what the whole point of it is, uh, a couple of great new features including a brand new round which isn't in uh, the software yet but will be within the next few weeks. Um, so here goes, as you can see there on my screen there, I've got the speed quizzing hub detected, that means a black or yellow speed quizzing hub. In version 5 it doesn't matter whether it's yellow or black uh, with the new app. So you'll see there um, on the both apps it's just ready to connect, it should just detect them both automatically, simple as that. I will now look at the orange mode, if I delete them two apps. So now you see it says no speed quizzing hub detected, I'm just connected to my home Wi-Fi. Now before on the old app, if you connected to your home Wi-Fi, you used to have to hold down the SQ Pro uh, logo to get it to find the connect button. On the new app, it should just find it automatically, you don't need to scan at all. We don't recommend using non-speed quizzing hardware, i.e. your home Wi-Fi or installations in venues, but some people seem to be doing alright with it, so if it works, it works. Some people use the higher end ruckus devices, I'm going to plug one of them in. So as you can see now on these two I've connected them to the ruckus Wi-Fi but I've not yet connected the ruckus Wi-Fi to the host software because what I want you to see on the old app it was necessary to put a pin in on the ruckus but on the new app there's no need for a pin anymore. So if I plug the ruckus router into my Speakersing Pro laptop you can see now there it's gone blue and it says speak was in ruckus network detected. Uh, make sure you're on the latest version of speak was in 5 else this won't work. Okay, so what you see now, this is the important thing, it's automatically detected it, no need for a pin. However, if for any reason anyone can't update to the latest app and they're still on the, late, uh, on the old app, they can still put a pin in. One, there's two ways of doing it, if I go back to there. Two ways of doing it. One way is just to click on the blue router icon and you'll see a pin down there in the bottom left hand corner. So for example if you've just got one or two teams who can't get the new app for whatever reason you could do it that way where you just say 227204 to them individual teams and they can both connect or alternatively for whatever reason if you'd rather just use the pin on all the devices regardless of whether it's a new app or an old app you can hold the blue router icon down for two seconds then the pin will appear 227204 so now if I reset the apps now what you'll see is it hasn't automatically detected it on the new app what you have to do now is you press the pin button 227204 and on the old app the same 227204 but obviously on the old app I didn't need to press the pin button do that do that there you go so just to reiterate that again, you can have it in pin mode where you hold your finger down on the router icon for two seconds to bring the pin onto the screen or if I hold that again that'll make it go away. I'm holding on the blue uh, router icon which means then it will automatically detect on the new apps. But if for any reason anyone can't get the new app and they're stuck on the old app, you can click on it once and you can give them the, uh, the pin from down there in the bottom left hand corner. Right now onto the fun stuff, there's one feature that people can use straight away. If I go into a keypad round, uh, there's the old app, there's the new app. Click on there, there's less icons there than there is on the new one. So the important one we're looking at here is the little text thing with the arrow. And what that does, if I click on that and I slide that slider across, it, make, it makes more room for the text at the top. So let's, for instance, if I put that question on the screen, on the old app they would now have to click on it to be able to see the full question however they've chosen to have it big enough to fit the question on in its entirety does that make sense so if I go back down there it hides some of it so it's a compromise between the size of the keyboard and how much of, of the question they can see on the screen so very exciting for this second feature this is the big reveal no one's seen this before it's called multi-tap sadly it isn't in the host software yet but it will be in the next few weeks so here's a little preview um, you can see there it's called multi-tap and I've got around there of 10 questions. Uh, you can see here that I've got uh, I've got two new apps now rather than an old one and a new one. And I'm going to click on the multi-tap round. Very different to a keypad round because on this, it, the reason it's only on two points and five speed bonus points is that you get two points for every correct answer that you press. Um, and I'm going to start a round. 
let's do this one. Of these birds, tap only the ones that are birds of prey. Okay, we've got duck, kestrel, eagle, hummingbird, buzzard, hawk. So I'm going to have a guess at kestrel, eagle, hummingbird, buzzard. And that team have gone for buzzard, eagle, kestrel. Let's start the 10 seconds. So this is the twist on the multipad tap round. You only get, you're only eligible for the speed bonus if you get a full house, means you got them all correct. So this is saying here two partially correct scores because nobody got a full house. The correct answer is Kestrel, Eagle, Buzzard, Hawk. Now you can see on the screen here, you get a green tick for everyone you got right, regardless of whether you pressed it or not. So they were right not to press duck, they were right to press kestrel and eagle, they shouldn't have pressed hummingbird, they were right to press buzzard and they should have pressed hawk. So they got two points for everyone they got right, they got ten points, they got eight points. Let's see if I can do one this time where I get a full house. So tap only the Italian car manufacturers and the ten seconds starts now. This time we've got a full house. There is one full house and one partially correct score. So you're only eligible for the five speed bonus points if you get a full house. The correct answer is Fiat, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Maserati. You can see here there, they got the full house. So they got two points for all six of the answers. Plus they got, as you can see there, they got five speed bonus points as well. That team just got two points for each of the ones they got right. Uh, so the fastest correct answer. Uh, so it's not like we've just done this app for the sake of it, just to annoy people, uh, but I do realise it has stressed a few people out because it, it came as a bit of a shock. I do apologise for that. Um, so hopefully the new game, Multitap, will be with you in the next few weeks. Thank you.